Hello fellow legacy enthusiasts. This is Havoc coming to you live with another exciting adventure on a very strange machine. I did a little research on this. Um, I was lucky to acquire this in a very unusual way. Uh, it was a friend of a friend who knew someone who had this computer just sitting out there in their garage and boy this thing has been I guess it's been it looks like it's got moisture damage but other than that uh, and slight moisture damage not heavy duty uh, the rest it, it actually does look in, intact what I have here is the Sun 386i this is the model 250 this was built in uh, late 1980s uh, it's a very interesting system, and there's very little uh, information on it uh, other than this pretty good video that somebody did a while ago about uh, one that he has, um, and he actually has the module that fits up on top of it. I do not. Uh, it gives like a tape drive and another hard drive. It's pretty cool. Um, and then he talks about the fact that it emulates DOS, but it has... Sun's own OS, and I know very little about that. So this machine may be a little bit more for me than I want to get into because I really want to stay to systems that can work with my mass transit uh, configuration. And if you look at my other videos, you'll understand what that means. I don't think this one is going to be able to do that. But on the other hand, I do want to try to bring it back to life because I just feel like it should be. It's a piece of history. Um, it's extremely well built. I mean, just take a look at those fans. Things are huge. Um, I have not tried to start it up yet. I'm not going to. Uh, it is a 386. Looks like it's a 25 megahertz system. Does have a math coprocessor. It has an onboard SUSE controller, and those two chips over there, they uh, basically control it. I am not familiar with the manufacturer of those chips. I've searched on the internet. I can find nothing on them. Um, those three slots right there for memory expansion, I do not have them. Uh, so I have no memory for it as, as we speak right now. This was in, in it, and um, this is, a, it's video card, and it's got a very unique connector, kind of looks like a, an old Apple connector in a way, uh, but uh, I don't know anything about this either. Uh, I don't know what kind of monitor or what type of uh is it monochrome or VGA? I would think that it's going to be either EGA. Uh, at least back when it was manufactured, you're probably looking at EGA uh, or basic 16 color of some sort or color monitor. Um, I don't know. I'm flying blind on that too. This is the power supply for it. It's kind of cool the way it slides on these rails that you see here. And on this rail here, slides right up inside here like that. Slides right in, bolts in. That's kind of cool. Um, the other thing that I liked about it, which is unusual. Uh, is, I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if I can get close enough for you guys to see this. Let me see if I can move it or adjust it. But can you see, there's a bunch of signatures on this cover. These are my research tells me that these are all the people that helped to build and design this system. Everyone who was involved um, is, they signed this and is on this panel. And this panel fits on the other side and it just pushes in place. I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, another reason why I kind of want to put it back together. Uh, I have all the case panels. I just don't have the top. I don't have the hard drive. I don't have a memory expansion board. I have this controller, but I don't know if I can get that to run any kind of monitor that I know of. Here's where I'm calling out to people and asking for help. This video is not really to be informative. This is more to 
Um, hopefully there's someone out there that knows about this. I'm going to be posting this video on a couple of different forums so that I can get some help, hopefully, from them. Um, there's a computer forum that I go to that's well that, as well that I really like. There might be someone there that knows about this system. But, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, the design is kind of really nice. Now, even though that looks like metal, that is not metal. That's a plastic that looks like it's got to... And it's not coated because I did a little cut somewhere inconspicuous. And it goes all the way through the plastic. It's almost like uh, when it was molded, they added a metal to this plastic. It's very heavy plastic, but it is plastic. Um, but I guess by molding it with this metal, you make it so that it's uh, shield, it shields, shielded. Which is pretty interesting. And then the panels that go on it are pure plastic. Except for the, the main panel here. Which has actually a piece of metal. This, Well no, this is a piece of metal on the, on the screen here. And a metal piece here for strength. And here's that plastic that I'm talking about. That's got like a metal. And it goes all the way through the plastic. So it's like it was poured in the mold. Pretty interesting how they did that. So I guess that's just for shielding. Um, it's also on the... Well, no, this one here, it's not. But I guess on the front of the case, it's shielded. And then they've got the metal spurs here to bolt us in. This is the front of the system. But if you look at the case, this has got... I mean, it looks like metal, but it's not. It's plastic. Uh, there is some damage to the rear there. It looks like uh, it got smacked and the leg is broken. Uh, the piece did not make it with me. I did. I could look for it. I could not find it. It definitely needs a bit a thorough cleaning. But hopefully someone can tell me about this stuff. It looks like it has an onboard old Ethernet controller to an Ethernet NIC. So, I mean, uh, pretty interesting. I would. Uh, I think that's external SCSI. Uh, again, I just don't know anything about this system. All I know is that it is the Sun 386i-250. If anyone can help me get some information on this, please let me know. Again, I appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. I'm going to be constantly digging the world for these strange and unique machines. If I get my hands on them, I am going to restore them. One way or another, I am going to do all I can to try to get them running. So uh, stay tuned and uh, maybe you'll see something that you used to own. Okay, like always, thanks for watching. Have a great day and a better life. See ya.